In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Midori MD Notebook. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about the notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So here is the Midori MD notebook. Now, normally this has a plastic sleeve. I've disposed of that, so here we are. It comes with this paraffin paper cover, which they say kind of is like a the cover that you would get on a old book. So let's, I'm gonna remove it and then let's talk about, let's just do the main walkthrough here. So, this is a coverless design. Basically, what you would be getting here is, you know, this would be like sort of like the paste down, but there's no cover on it. So you have this, what I think is very pretty in kind of a minimal way, this sort of mesh webbing on the spine here. And then you can see the bookmark gets really just glued down to the spine here. I haven't had one come off, but I'm guessing if you pull on it, 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 it would come off. On the cover here, or not cover, we have MD paper made in Japan, and on the back there is nothing. This fell out. This is just stickers. They come with one that says idea or diary, and you can stick them up top here or along the spine and then they give you a blank one and then they give you this big sticker with volume start finish from the library of so you can stick that you know anywhere you want on the inside outside it's a nice touch and i have at least used the blank label in the past so let's open it up here we have uh just a, a place for your name or the subject of the, the notebook and then we say MD notebook made in Japan and the Midori logo here. Now let me zoom in a little bit here. So we go right to the, the first page and it's kind of a, a cream colored paper and on the lined version kind of a, a, a gray rule and the ruling is seven millimeters, which is sort of the, the standard rule that I like. You'll notice in the middle, there's a thick gray divider line. That I would say is maybe not one of my favorite features, but it's not a huge deal. The lines go all the way to the edge and there's kind of a little margin on the inside here. And then you have a bigger margin up at the top and the bottom. The paper, was designed in the 1960s and I think they've improved and sort of developed it more over the years. It's a textured paper so if you like really glossy smooth paper you probably won't love this. It has a very nice feedback to it and it holds fountain pen ink really nicely. So let's go to, let's pop to the back here and then we can go into the, the paper test. So here on this back page, I guess we can see stuff about Midori MD in Japanese, which I can't read, but it says 1960. So probably talking about the paper. Model numbers, A5, there's 176 pages. And then it gives you the, the website and design fill. That is the, the parent company of Midori. Let's go to the, the paper test here. So we have basically no feathering on any of the pens. Everything on the face here looks quite nice. You get good shading on this paper because it's not super glossy. It's not gonna be as perfect for sheening inks as like Tomoe River or some of the other really, really smooth papers, but you can see some sheening on there. This says Lummy Red, that was a mistake. This is a Sailor, I wanna say it's Sailor Yodaki or something like that. And I can see there's, a, you know, some sheening there, not a lot, not as much as you would see on Tomoe River. But otherwise, the face of this looks pretty much perfect. 
And then on the back, we have zero bleed from the fountain pen. Six millimeter Sailor, Mont Blanc, OBB, all fine. The Sharpie bled, the Copic bled, the Pilot oil drawing pen, the Stetler, Lumo color, permanent marker bled, everything else passed, all of the roller balls worked. This is a very, very good fountain pen friendly paper. Now if you really, you know, go crazy, let's take a look here. So if I grab this and just really kind of hammer on it, it will bleed. But under normal writing conditions, yeah, you can just see a little bit of spotting starting to show up there. But for normal writing with a fountain pen, you're not going to have any issues. And if you look to the ghosting, there is some, but it's really not that bad. And, of course, it's making a mess on the other page here. By omitting the, 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 the cover, basically, you have a notebook that opens very flat. So you can just kind of see the two ends of the notebooks, you know, can basically touch. It is very flexible and it lays very flat. This notebook has 12 signatures for 176 pages, which is quite good. It is a super easy lie flat notebook because you just, you don't have the cover getting in the way of anything. It just folds over. It's really, really excellent. In terms of features, there aren't really any other than the bookmark. Now, the bookmark comes in different colors. You, I've never been able to specify when ordering one. Now, if you buy one in person, uh, you can probably see the color from looking at the, the top or on the, the side. This one's green. I have this one here which is blue and this one is white so they come in different colors now this one here is the b6 slim which is my second favorite size after the a5 i just i find this is a good notebook for uh, or good size for taking notes in a meeting so i i do like that now you can see this is a leather cover made by Midori. You can see MD Paper and Midori here. There are three different kind of covers that you can buy for the Midori MD line. There is a acrylic cover, which I think is something like $5 for the A5 size, which is just a, a clear plastic cover which kind of, you get kind of the looks of the Midori MD, you know, showing through because it's just clear, but you kind of get that synthetic feeling, which I personally think kind of spoils the feel of the Midori MD. Now then they also do a, a paper cover, which is kind of like a, I wouldn't call it a thick cardboard cover. It's cardboard, but it's kind of a crinkly uh, cardboard. It's almost like a paper shopping bag kind of cover, like gro paper grocery bag kind of cover. I've had those in the past. They're okay. They, you know, definitely look and kind of feel nice. The paper cover is $13. I, that's kind of expensive. And then we get into the, the leather cover. So this is a natural goat skin. Unlike the notebook, and I think most of the other covers, this is made in Pakistan rather than Japan. And it's a natural goat skin. So you can see this is sort of like the untouched color here, more or less. It's this sort of nude pink color. And then as you use it, it patinas. And of course, it, I don't know, I've stained it. You can see more of the natural color back here. But it does get a nice patina. You have a place here for a card, and then again a, a place in the back for a bigger, um, I don't know, business card or piece of paper. And then you have a very skinny pen loop, which, you know, I it works well with like the Lamy CP1, but it really isn't very thick, so 
there aren't that many fountain pens you're going to be able to fit in there. So if you have a Lamy CP1, that will work. Any really skinny fountain pen will fit. Like for instance, this Pilot Metropolitan, that's not going to fit in there. So it's not the the best thing. Now, the biggest problem with these notebook covers is the price. The leather goat skin covers, the retail price for this is $98. And it's a very minimalistic co cover. You know, there's no, there's no lining on the inside. There's no edge finish on the leather. It is very much in keeping with the Midori MD style, but I don't think that this is worth a hundred dollars. At a hundred bucks, there are other companies out there that are making Midori MD covers, and I would probably pick that over this just because that price is so outrageous, in my opinion. But anyway, there are lots of options with this Midori MD line. You know, they make a6, the B6 Slim, the A5, and then A4, and they do blank ruled grid, and now I believe they do dot grid. I have yet to have a MD with the dot grid, but I'll probably try it. They also make a cotton MD version, so it's a cotton paper. My recollection is that the cotton is a little bit whiter in color, the paper is a little bit more textured. I think it's more designed for drawing and sketching. The fountain pen performance was not as good in my testing, so I bought the cotton once and that was it. Retail price for these $16.50. I wouldn't call it expensive. It's about right for a notebook of this quality with a soft cover, or they say no cover. Street price though, 10 to 12 dollars for one of these A5. If you like the format, you're not going to do much better than this. It's a very, very nice notebook, especially in that 10 or 12 dollar price range. So what are my pros and cons for the Midori MD notebook? The biggest pro for me is definitely the aesthetic. It is extremely minimalistic. I love the sort of coverless design with this exposed webbing. I like the, you know, the paraffin uh, paper cover that it comes with. I like these stickers and I like that you know you can kind of upgrade it with leather covers. It's just a it's a very nice complete sort of line of notebooks and I also really like the paper. It has a nice texture to it. It is very nice to write on. They also do have the cotton paper option if you prefer that. The price is not too expensive. Retail is, I think, $16.50, but street price, you know, I've been buying these the last few years between $10 and $12. And at that price, this is a, a really nice notebook, a really well-made notebook for that price. It's kind of hard to go wrong with one of these. In terms of cons, I don't really have too many. The lined versions have this thick line in the middle, sort of a divider, which I don't necessarily love. You know, it's it's not a bright white paper. The leather covers are really expensive. I don't really recommend them. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.